Detroit, Michigan, once the world's most powerful city in automotive innovation and production, was hit hard during the credit crunch a decade ago. But the resurgence of Motor City is being spearheaded by groups such as General Motors, who invest heavily in racing, all now under one roof at GM's new propulsion center. We really built this facility to be able to um, have a great combination of technology between the production side and the performance side. We have about 83, 84 people, and that's everyone from the people that receive the parts through the guys that run the programs, build the engines, machine shop. When we built this facility, it was so we could control as much of our destiny as possible. We try to outsource the minimum amount of stuff. Our fully supported in-house is the Corvette GTLM program, our Cadillac World Challenge Series, and then also we design and develop and build all the Copo engines for the drag racing community. We support the IndyCar program and NASCAR. IndyCar, we do a lot of testing here. And then for NASCAR, we're responsible for all the hard parts, so blocks, heads, and take manifolds. We do everything we can to try to use our technology and our tools to help our partners win also, not just our factory car. Providing state-of-the-art facilities to the various race series helps teams in their preparations for long and demanding race schedules. As racing has evolved, our ability to test on the track has gone down and down and down, right? So you get fewer ability to have off-site testing that's not at the races, and then at the races, you have less and less time to test. So it really has put the onus on the propulsion system guys to make sure when these packages show up to the team, when you plug it in, it's very minimal amounts of changes that are needed from the powertrains. That's what our guys do every day. They're always working to really make that seamless, whether it's how the engines go to the team so that they have minimal issues putting them in or when the driver's using them on the track. The reason car manufacturers go racing is to market and develop their road car technology, so it follows the GM staff apply their skills on both sides of the business. A lot of my engineers consistently work very closely with the production engineers, really in both directions. There's a lot of overlap where we can both learn from it. We rotate people through our organization to teach them how to run at race pace. You always have to think on your feet. You have to be able to make decisions quickly, take the data that you have and do it. Especially on the Corvette program, you can see that the racing has truly driven the direction of the production car. We're always doing that shared learning. You know, best practices are the key for a corporation to be successful. One jewel in GM's crown is Corvette Racing, victorious on eight occasions at the 24 Hours of Le Mans and reigning IMSA team, manufacturer and driver champions. The C7R has been a, an interesting program because it's kind of been evolutionary. The box is pretty small for what we have for flexibility because the rules are pretty tight. So every year we're working on the details so that the team can take it and really concentrate on tuning the car. Each of the factory supported race programs have about four full-time people that are going to the track, a project leader, a couple of track support engineers, and then kind of an engine management specialist. If you look at the history of GM Racing and, and our relationship with Pratt & Miller, there's only winning when we do everything that we can and everyone's dedicated to get there. For car manufacturers investing in motorsport, a high performance level week in and week out is vital. It's a challenge that GM and their teams relish every time they go racing. We get graded every weekend, and that's one of the things that is very rewarding. Whether you do well or bad, you very quickly know that the decisions that you made, what the results are of it. And I think that's one of the things that really drives the team. We really race to both win and to learn. And um, this place is just a, a really good opportunity to do both of those. 